Yeah, hello, this is Delusional Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing well today. So for today's video, I have new changes that they've done with the current update. I'm going to announce the moves that have been fixed, though, of course, I don't have the pre-changes or the pre-moves how they were before. So I'll instead use another fellow Yoshimitsu player's clip. So that way you can see from reference exactly what moves and how they've been changed and how they've been fixed. So for one, one, one. The second hit, for whatever reason, would end up whiffing or the opponent can attack through it and still hit you out of the 1-1. Now, these are only special circumstances where it would happen. I don't know if it happens with all characters or it only happens between the clip being shown here. Back to 2. Has an issue where the second hit would also whiff. In fact, this one has to do with the uh, overall situation where if the opponent ends up attacking you and you're somewhat off axis and you use back 2 2, the second hit will just weirdly not track to hit the opponent. So now they fixed it. Supposedly. Samurai Cutter. They fixed the issue with the hitbox where, at certain circumstances, again, if the attacker ends up attacking you in a certain way and you end up using Samurai Cutter, it would end up whiffing as if they evaded it somehow. Then running three. They fixed the problem where if the opponent is crouching, they would end up not getting hit by the running three. But here is where I'm going to tell you guys that they didn't fix this move. At least not in the way that they intended it, I guess. As you see here, for some reason, when I go for running 3, it will end up whiffing and I just go right past the Dragonov. Or, in some circumstances, you'll, you'll still be in front of them, but you won't even hit them with running 3. So, they didn't fix this problem. The problem still persists, it's just that it's not exactly the way they thought that they fixed it. They fixed the issue accordingly with characters that are crouching, but against certain moves that have some form of evasiveness, they have not fixed that problem yet. I forgot to mention one other particular type of move that they supposedly fixed as well with Dragonfly 4. With this move, at times, if the opponent were to attempt to go for a special low like a dick jab or attempts to go for some other kind of low, at times when you go for Dragonfly Stance into 4, it would end up hitting the move. But you have to understand that when you're in Dragonfly Stance and you're using the 4, you're still in the air. You're not on the ground yet. But for some reason, these lows will still hit you. That has been fixed. Now I'm going to go into some of the things that I wish that they fixed with Yoshimitsu and not just fixing some of the issues that, yeah, plagued Yoshimitsu's uh, kit, but there's still issues that I feel that need to be addressed as well, at least in my opinion. Other Yoshis may disagree with me because they think that he's already okay as it is. Or some Yoshis would agree with me and say that they. I hope that they fix these problems in general. That's you guys talking, not me. So, Samurai Cutter would whiff at this range. For whatever reason, it would whiff. As you saw, the Sword Trace went through the leg, but it still ended up whiffing. That's an issue plaguing with Samurai Cutter, and not just with that move alone. As you see here, this move also would end up whiffing, even though the Sword Trace went through the opponent. So, it's another problem that I think persists too often with Yoshimitsu as well, when you're trying to land the Gehosen, or CD1, and it'll just end up whiffing, even though you see, visually, that the Sword Trace went through the opponent. Then the issue with Kencho Perry. Now, with Kencho Perry, it also has issues as well. For whatever reason, if you're using the Kencho Perry and they use a type of string of whatever kind and it has some form of forward momentum that carries them over, you would end up getting behind the opponent instead of getting in front of them. So instead of just like forcing the opponent to stay, you know, static and stagnant so they can get hit by the move, the follow up moves that they use that has any form of inertia and forward momentum, the move would whiff. This is the same case with up 3 plus 4 as well. 
they work the same way. So if the opponent tries to do the move, any move in their kit that has some form of forward momentum, and you use up 3 plus 4, there's a likelihood that you'll get behind them instead of actually hitting them right in front of them. Which is the other thing too that I don't like about up 3 plus 4 as well, which I wish they fixed. I don't know if it's actually a problem really with the with the move. It, this is actually more of a buff that I wish that they did ended up implementing with up 3 plus 4, and that is seeing how when you get up in the air and you disappear, there should be at least a smidge bit of iframe during the moment that he disappears in the air. That way, that if they attempt to attack you with some kind of move, it would end up whiffing, and you'll still be able to attack them with the double somersault kick, right? But instead, you get hit out of the move a lot of uh, often times. Of course, they change other things with Yoshimitsu as well, but I just wanted to address the things that I think that are important in Yoshimitsu's kit. They have also, of course, changed his, I believe it's his down forward one into two into down back twos. As you see, at times the move will actually persist and actually still hit the opponent. Now, it's on the second hit, of course, but on the first hit, usually it would end up hitting the opponent on certain characters. But now they change it to where if they were holding back and blocking, the initial spinning backhand move would not hit them. They also fix the issue with back 1 plus 2 when you're trying to go into no sword stance that depending on the situation, you won't end up taking back your sword out if you wanted to take it out, essentially. Instead, it would end up mimicking as if you're still in no sword stance, and it will actually force itself to still stay in no sword stance. So it's like a glitch of an issue that they now fix now in the game. I said that twice. And that's about it. There really isn't anything else that they have done with Yoshimitsu. I just hope that they fix the other issues with, uh, plaguing him that I feel that are, are plaguing Yoshimitsu. That I feel it will be a lot of good quality of life changes to his kit. Because if it's all fine with characters like Dragunov, okay, he's nerfed slightly. And other characters have been buffed heavily. Why isn't he being, like, you know, a little bit tuned up alongside everybody else? But that's just me. That's just my overall opinion. You may disagree with me. You may agree with me, it's whatever. So if you like what you watch, give it a like or a dislike if you want to. Subscribe if you want to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more.